Hello to everyone who's watching. I'm Gail of September Gail here on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to say Happy New Year to you all because this is my first video of the year. Uh, pray you all had a great coming in to 2021. Uh, today I'm doing a different type of video. It's my collective glassware video and I was inspired by another YouTuber, uh, Thrift Queen. And I have quite a few pieces, um, so I'm going to get started. Some are, uh, I don't want to say designer, but um, popular names. And some aren't. Well, the first uh, set I, hear, I have here is a pair of, I hope you guys can see that, salt shakers. And I paid 99 cents each for these, and I'll show you here. Okay, that's that. And then next, I have a bell. I love bells, and I used to give them to my mom. Uh, whenever I went to different states, I'd give them to her. But of course, over the years, she's either given them away or broke them or whatever. So the next thing I have here is this bell. And I've had this for several years. It was thrifted. And I'm going to tell you, everything here is pretty much under $5. And the one that was not, I'll let you know. But this bell, and it doesn't have a hallmark. This is the salt shaker's bell. But isn't that a nice piece? And they're quite heavy, quite substantial. Next, I have these candle holders. They're not hallmarked either. But like I said, they were under five dollars. Okay. And next, what I have here is my butter dish, and I actually had to um, wash it because this is the, I use this with this knife. There's no hallmark on this one either, but just a really cute piece. Two piece actually. And the other ones are just a collective haul I've accumulated over the years. Um, I have a chef in the kitchen that I keep them on. Some, only a few of them has been washed. The other ones are sitting there on the chef. Um, I think I showed this in a vi previous video. It's just like, a, well, it is a little, uh, what do you call this? Well, anyhow, I can't think of what it's called, a little buggy or what have you. It, this is a Mikasa piece, and I paid $4.99 for this one. I hope you guys can see that. But anyhow, really nice. And then this one is just like a little, I guess, sugar bowl. I keep putting my hand in the way. This one's like a little sugar bowl, and this as well is the... Mikasa piece, and you could tell by the Mikasa, they, all, he, they most of them had the little angels on them, trumpets or whatever they're playing, and most of the pieces have the those little angels. And then here's another piece. I guess it's a little tray you could put uh, chips or something on. I'm trying to be careful so I don't break them. And once again, it's the Mikasa. They're the little angels with the trumpets. Hope you guys can see that. Next, this is a photo. Uh, I guess it's for someone, a wedding gift. Someone threw it away. Maybe they got divorced. But anyhow, this as well is a Mikasa. And as I stated before, all of these were under five dollars. Here's another piece. This one doesn't have the Mikasa on it, but as you can see, the little angel with the trumpet. Really cute pieces. And then I'll start here. This I bought two of these at Goodwill. And they had them for 99 cents each. 
they have four of the little sauces. I, I have one out. I'll show you. The Mikasa. Comes in a little box. Uh, and there's four of them. And I have two of these. I guess I could turn it up. And this is um, what it looks like. And it's called Silk Floral Lavender. This is the print on it. And it says here, Mikasa. Just really cute. 99 cents. Someone, I've had these, like I said, uh, a couple years. Okay. Next piece is a large piece. And it's also the Mikasa. So I don't know what you can do with this. I guess you put candy in it for the holidays. But isn't that beautiful? There's the angel with the trumpets. And this one I bought at a garage sale a few years back. And I showed this in a video a couple of, oh, maybe last year or maybe the year before. Now this came in the box. $2 at the garage sale. The Mikasa. And when I was showing it the last time, it fell on my table, the glass table, and I chipped it. Where is it? There's a chip here. I don't know if you can see it, but anyhow. Another Mikasa. This one does not have the angels on it, but you know, there it is uh, Mikasa. And, but yeah, this was $2 at a garage sale. Next, <clears throat> this one I've had for two years. Been on my shelf. I have not washed it. I have, like I said, I have a chef in the kitchen. And this also was under $5. Uh, when you look this up, it's running over $150. There's no hallmark on it, but it's an um, ice bucket. And I'm so afraid to hold these pieces because I think they're going to break. Okay, excuse my back. And then another piece. This is also an um, ice bucket. Now, when you look this up, it has the, um, the little, oh my gosh, I can't think, the tongues that go with it. If, when you look it up, it shows the name. Now, this is, this runs like $340. Really nice piece. And then finally, the oh, last piece. Excuse my back. Now, this I picked up last March, and I know that because my daughter was down here. And this one was, excuse me, this one was um, $12.99. So it's a decanter, wine decanter, or juice if you, if you don't drink, which I don't, so I put wine or Kool-Aid or whatever. So anyhow, this was on the shelf, and they had a mark for $12.99, and I thought, ah, that's a little too much for me. So I, I did pick it up, and I put it in my cart, walked back around, I said, I'm not paying $13 uh, for this. So I put it down and walked to another part of the store. Came back, picked it up again, put it down again, and then on the third time, I says, I'm going to go ahead and get it. Oops, I don't want to break the... And then, so, last night, this I washed, I had bleach and everything in it, so I've had this, you know, like I said, last since the last March. So last night when Joan was showing all of her glass pieces, I went and grabbed most of these. Just to, um, like I said, I was inspired by her. And I have so many other pieces, but I'm not bringing all of those out. So once I went in last night to show this, this looked like a little simple decanter with the lid. And so, like I said, last night I uh, picked it up. 
and it says here, Seagram's 70, 1776 decanter, designed by Tiffany and Company. I don't know if you can see that. I never looked at the bottom, washed it, everything, put it away, because I thought it was such a beautiful piece. Tiffany and Company. So, um, I had the kids look it up last night, and with my daughters who are not my kids. But anyhow, this one runs. Someone had it on eBay, I guess, for $10. Someone else had it for $11. I don't know if they knew what they had or just didn't care. They put it away. Uh, but when you look at the uh, website, they're running $250 and up. But, I mean, who would throw away a Tiffany piece? I just have to keep looking at it. But just a beautiful piece. And that's it for my collective glassware. And like I said, I have so much more, but these were the pieces I figured I'd show you. And I know that one candle um, that I showed before and actually dropped it on the glass table as I was showing it. The $2 bottle. The $2 piece I bought at the garage sale. So that's it. Hope you all have a nice day. Today's Saturday. Um, what is it? Uh, January 30th. So, anyhow, thank you guys for hanging out with me uh, these few minutes. I'm at almost 12 minutes now. But, thank you guys. Have a good day, good weekend, and I'll see you on the next video.